Welcome on in, everyone. We are back, the cousins. This is Beer Talk with Kyle and Joe. I'm Kyle. What's up, guys? I'm Joe. Welcome back to the channel for yet another video. Today, we have an awesome review for you guys today. Really excited to talk with you about it. We're going to be talking about Damn Yankee Beard Company. Now, this is a company that's really not new to the beer game. A lot of people have tried this. I've heard a lot of great things. We've been testing this one out for a little while, so we're really excited to talk with you about it. Just a real little bit about the company. Uh, the owner's name is Peter Spence. And um, just talking with Peter, getting to know him a little bit uh, has been really cool. Super passionate about what he does. He really lo uh, loved telling us about all the different scents that he puts into his products, all the different ingredients, a lot of good things. And we'll get into that in a little bit. Yeah. And so we just want to thank you guys so much for joining us yet again. If this is your first time, welcome aboard. And if you have not done so, please make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell so you're not missing any future content. And of course, hit that thumbs up and leave a comment so we know how you guys feel about this video. And we love keeping that interaction. But before we begin, hang tight. We'll be right back. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and dive into price and presentation. First, let's go ahead and knock price out. So for a one ounce oil, you're looking at $16.99. And then for a, to be exact, and I'll show you what it looks like really quick, for the whipped butter, which is listed at 1.88 ounces, which I personally appreciate the how exact that is, you're looking at $11.99. Mm -hmm. uh, to me, personally, this is below market average. Um, for the oil, it's about right there. But um, for a butter, I think that's pretty cheap. What do you think, Joe? Yeah, I definitely think that that's fair. I've seen uh, some butters hitting that two ounce mark and going for like 16 bucks. So, right. um, and I've thought those prices were okay. So I actually definitely think that this is a very fair price. Right, exactly. So talking about the presentation, this is what the butter looks like. It's kind of difficult in a good way, only because every single label is different. So we'll just show you a few of them. Um, but that is what the butter looks like. And that is the pipe bomb. Yep. As you can see. Pretty standard, mm -hmm. black twist off lid, had no issues with that. And then Joe, if you wanna go ahead and show off the oil. And this is one of his uh, fall scented oils. And as you can see, you got some really cool animation going on there. You got a pineapple, you got a ham, and then he uses the entire label. Which is, which is really good. You got your uh, scent profile on there. And then you got, of course, the ingredients um, and directions and all that stuff, which is really cool. And then of course you got the awesome white dropper top label and then the clear bottle. So you can see that beautiful oil, uh, right. a really cool bottle that will really stand out on your shelf if you like to display them as much as Kyle and myself. For so sure. In there. All right, so let's dive right into these scents. All right. So when we're diving into scents here, let's talk about uh, Damn Yankees Fall 2020 scents. So we have three of them to go ahead and show you. I'm going to start with the glazed over, which Joe was just showing you there. The ham and the pineapple. So the scent profile on this is pineapple and clove. Um, right off the bat, let me just say this is probably the most unique scent I've ever smelled. Mm. To me, this is a you're going to love it or you're going to hate it. I personally did not care for this scent. Um, it was just a little too out there for me. Um, I only wore it once. Um, I thought for what, what he was going for with the ham and the pineapple and, and the glaze, of course, he nailed it. It just wasn't for me. What do you think, Joe? Yeah, you know, this is a scent that when I when I look at clove, clove is one of my least favorite, you know, uh, profiles out there. Uh, there is very rare that I find one that I actually truly enjoy. I think with this scent, what I really like is just the overall uniqueness of it. I, I love how he found a way to have that pineapple balance that clove out. And when you smell it, and I don't know if it's just because of the label or for, you know, uh, for what the title is. I don't know if it's just a scent that plays mind games with you, mm -hmm. but I swear, like I smell like ham and pineapple and there's no ham listed on here anywhere. 
but I don't know if it's just that unique combination of clove and pineapple somehow makes a ham type of smell. Yeah. So yeah, yeah overall, yeah. So overall, um, it was it was a fun scent. Definitely not an everyday scent, um, but something very very unique. Um, and this actually, I actually told uh, Peter that this made me want a pineapple uh, and ham Hawaiian pizza, which I know this is fall and Thanksgiving like, but if you're into those kind of things and something fun, you, you may like it. For sure. Yeah. All right. So moving right along here, we have homecoming. Mm. Really cool label there. Very festive for the fall time. Oh, yeah. And the scent profile on this is autumn spices cedar and fake oud i don't know what's going on with the fake oud but <laughs> that's never heard of that one that's pretty cool so this one is exactly what you would think this one is a straight fall scent i think mm -hmm. what separates this one a little bit from the typical fall scents is that cedar i definitely pick up a little bit of wood in there along with that you know fall that fall like feel um i enjoyed this one if you're into fall scents i don't really see you not liking it what do you think yeah, it was it was good. I mean, this is the most fall scent out of the three that we're going to talk about. Mm -hmm. um, you know, that cedar, I always feel like the cedar gives that nice little like burnt smell to it. And cedar yeah. has just such a unique smell to it out of all the woods out there. And then, you know, the the fake oud, I'm assuming and, and, and hopefully maybe Peter will say something in the comments. I'm assuming maybe because it's like a fragrance that he's using. Um, I know that there's companies who will list oud as a profile, but they don't differentiate between actually using real oud and just a fragrance. So okay. if that is the case, that's actually something I really appreciate. But, mm -hmm. but uh, Peter, please uh, leave a comment on that. Um, and then the autumn spices comes in really nice and just adds a good little uh, kick to it. Definitely just a typical fall scent in the bottle um, that, you know, if you're into that, you will definitely enjoy. I liked it. I love fall. I love everything about it. So this was definitely something that I, I really, really enjoyed. Yeah. All right. So the last of the fall scents, my personal favorite is the PSL. Okay. Pumpkin Spice Latte. <clears throat> so this is espresso, pumpkin spice, steamed milk. Mm -hmm. So when you smell this in bottle, it smells exactly like you would think it would. This explodes in beard. What I really like about this in beard, I get the majority of like the steam milk slash creaminess. And then that espresso coffee like mm -hmm. smell is kind of in the undertones, which I really liked for me out of I'm not a huge fall scent guy in general. Out of the three, this is the one that I would wear the most. I really enjoyed it. If you're into coffee scents at all, I don't see you not liking it. Right. Yeah. Uh, this this is a scent that yeah you know is is good for really really any time. I know he throws the pumpkin spice in there to make it you know more fall like, and I, and I actually get the pumpkin spice and the espresso right off the bat. And then as it's dying down in my beard, I kind of start getting that steamed milk, which kind of resembles like a vanilla type scent to me, mm -hmm. um, which, which was really cool. So it was a nice calm down. Um, this scent was definitely one that lasted a good eight hours a lot. And as a matter of fact, the other two that we just talked about was right in that eight to 10 hour range for me too, which is really cool. Um, but yeah, th again, I think he, he nailed this one. It's got that, you know, like Starbucks theme to it. So, you know, definitely, you know, nothing that really like, sh um, you know, we haven't really seen before, but it was something that was really well executed and he did find a way to make it, make it his own. Right. Agreed. All right. So now, uh, two that aren't from the fall scent here, let's go ahead and start with damn Yankees barbershop. Now, Pete was telling us right off the bat, he, think that he thinks this is his most underrated scent. Mm -hmm. I see why he's saying that. So the first time I wore it, um, or I should say the first time I smelled it in bottle, I'm like, okay, it's a barbershop. It's a little bit of cologne. -y. It's a little bit of powder-like. It's a little bit of that salon-like. You know, I enjoy it. But once I got this in beard, I thought this was awesome. This one to me truly was one of my favorite barbershop scents. And I'm a big barbershop guy. Yeah. Um, it was just very subtle, very comfortable, but definitely in that barbershop range. Um, one quick shout out that I want to do. One of our subscribers and our buddies, he follows us on Instagram as well. Jeff Rice loves barbershop scents. Jeff, you got to check this one out. Mm -hmm. Nice. Um, yeah. So, you know, I love, I'm right there with you. I love barbershops when it comes to barbershops. I'm always looking for something 
for uh, barbershop scent to be a little dynamic. And when I first when I first smelled this and I first put it in my in my beer, the problem that I had with it is I thought it was just a little too one dimensional for me. I actually got something that really resembled like kind of like Barbasol shaving cream and um which isn't bad and the reason why i actually do like that is because when you put on that barbasol shaving cream it you know it just makes your face cool it gives you like that you know refreshing feeling and and all that but um over time it did start to develop a little bit more and i get where kyle means when he when you get that cologne aspect to it um, I, I wish there was just a little bit more to it. Um, it's definitely something that I feel like it has a really good start to, but if Peter was willing to, to maybe dive back into it to see if maybe there's just a little bit something he can add to it, I think this would be a barbershop that would put, that would put it right up there to the top uh, for me. Okay, cool. Yeah, so I guess it really just depends what you like if more of that old school barbershop or you like a little more spunky. Like some people like... Um, like leather in their barbershop. Some people like citrus in their barbershop. So I get what you're saying for sure. Right. Right. All right. And now this is, we're told a top seller by Dan Yankee. And this is none other than pipe bomb. There we go. Nice. All right. So pipe bomb is, oh, and Joe, did we have the scent profile for the barbershop? I don't think we read it. Uh, it is not on there. Okay. Well, I'll have to, I'll go find it while okay. we're. Um, so the damn Yankee, I'm going off memory here is dark chocolate, tobacco and cherry, cherry. Yeah. So it's funny. So I did not like pipe bomb out of the bottle. Um, well, to me, the dark, I'm not a dark chocolate fan. And then you could smell that bitterness a little bit. You definitely pick up the tobacco. You definitely pick up the cherry, but I was like, eh, you know, it's just okay. Once I got this in beard, I really liked it. Just like any product that we test, I wear it at least three or four times. Um, I already tested this and I had a day where I could just kind of wear whatever I want, which was nice, by the way, I actually mm -hmm. wore this again. I really enjoyed it. Um, it's so unique. There's not one that that's, uh, close to this because most chocolate tobacco, type scents are kind of in their own category of like that milk chocolatey scent like i said you pick up the bitterness of the dark chocolate mm -hmm. yeah and uh just going back really quick uh so how it's described on the website for the barbershop scent um is he describes it as like a thick foamy handful of old school shaving cream so i get okay. that's exactly where i get that barbersol you know uh comparison to Makes and then sense. he just says it, it smells like something that's fresh and clean Mm -hmm. um so that's uh going back there but yeah dude i think what what you really described the best on the um pipe bomb is the fact that he decided to use the the dark chocolate and because yeah as you know dark chocolate does provide more of a bitterness rather than just an overall sweetness to it and that was something that i really appreciated because um it, it, it was just his way of doing something different um i've you know kind of when you do tobacco scents, you really, really have to do something different if you want to stand out from the rest. Because I feel like at some point, every company pretty much has some sort of tobacco scent with going for them. And right. yeah, and I, I thought the cherry was, was a nice little touch. Um, this was actually a scent, which is very rare coming for me, that I thought was just a little too strong. I wish it was more wow. subtle. It was kind of a scent that when it, when it started hitting that, um, six hour point, I was ready for it to start dying down. And it really didn't for me. It lasted pretty much full strength for about 10 hours. So I, for a while, I don't want to say I got sick of it, but I was just ready for it to start mellowing down. Interesting. See, I, me too. I got eight to 10 hours out of all these, which mm -hmm. I love. Um, I thought you were going to say the opposite. I thought you were going to say, I really enjoyed that it lasted all day. So cool take. Awesome. Yep. Yep. All right, so let's dive into the most important part, and that is feel in beard. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and dive into feel in beard. So let's go ahead and start with the oil. Um, now, we noticed the pipe bomb and the barbershop are slightly different. So let's go ahead and read the barbershop first. This one has jojoba oil. Uh, argan oil, coconut oil, hemp seed oil, fragrance oils, and sweet almond oil. 
And then in the uh, pipe bomb, we have uh, jojoba oil, sweet almond oil, argan oil, coconut oil, and broccoli seed oil. So I think that's the second, maybe third time we've seen broccoli seed, which is really cool. Yeah. And, um, and it looks like those fall scents fall in line with the same ingredients as the pipe bomb. So pipe bomb. Okay. the barbershop is the only one that's a little bit different than the others. It looks cool. Like. Yeah. Cool. Um, so I, I, as you heard, I enjoyed damn Yankee sense, but to mm -hmm. me, what really stood out for me is the feel and beard. I thought the oil felt phenomenal. Um, I know an oil, all oils are going to make my skin moisturize, but I know the oil really works for me when it makes my beard nice and soft after having some heat in there. And yes, some, some oils don't make my beard nice and soft as others. You can see Joe kind of showing you for me, it was, it was a medium, maybe a hair under medium, but definitely a medium, uh, thickness for the oil. What about you, Joe? Yeah, um, and I'm, I'm putting some in my hand right now. Definitely on that on that medium range. I would say probably medium to thicker uh, rather than medium to thinner. Oh, okay. um, it does. It is a little oil. It is a little. I want to say greasy because I mean all oil is is greasy. But, <laughs> oily. The oil's oily. <laughs> right. But uh, yeah, exactly. Um, but it is one of those oils that I feel like you don't need a whole lot to put in. I did find myself using um, less oil than I do for some of the more thinner ones that I have. Um, so, but yeah, overall though, it felt great. I love, um, I've have experience, you know, we both have experience with broccoli seed oil mm -hmm. um, and, you know, those, those ingredients as well. And yeah, it just, it felt good. It did everything that it needed to do for my skin and, and my beard. Um, and it, it accepted it really, really well. I found myself having some pretty good styling days with it and really just, just no complaints at, at all with it. I was very solid across the board, I would say. Awesome. All right. And looking at the butter, like I showed you guys earlier. So this is a whipped butter, just under two ounces. Mm -hmm. um, so let's read the ingredients here. We have shea butter, jojoba, uh, yeah, shea butter, jojoba oil, coconut oil, sweet almond oil. Oh, that's a big, oh, kernel oil. Uh, well, those are some different ones, man. Oh, and then broccoli seed oil. I see. That was just the, like the, the long version of the name. The and then of course, terms. yes. Yeah. And then of course, fragrance and uh, essential oil blend. So this is a wit butter. I'll tell you, this is probably a very unique butter, not like any other one. I know it's going to be hard to see on here, but yeah, like, I, I tried my best to show it off on that one. <laughs> okay, gotcha. When you scrape it out, like it feels firm. Like I almost mm -hmm. get a fluffy poured feel out of this butter, but then it melts down instantly and it feels like a wit. Yeah, right. right. But then it feels like a whipped butter in my beard. I absolutely love whipped butters. Um, they don't weigh my beard down at all because I have a very heavy beard. I love this butter. This one is absolutely in my rotation, even when I'm not testing it. Nice. Yeah. Um, yeah. It was an interesting whipped butter. You know, I'm obviously a poured guy, so I'm always going to have that like, uh, you know, preference poured over whipped. Um, but overall though, it was, it was pretty well done. Um, I will say though, you know, for it being a whipped butter, if I'm going to use a whipped butter, usually it's because I'm expecting something to be, you know, you know, more, you know, lighter, you know, more airy and, you know, and things like that. So the fact that this is like a heavier whipped butter, um, you know, I'm not, I'm not totally in love with it. Um, it felt fine, you know, putting in and overall the next day, you know, my beard felt, it felt, felt pretty good. It wasn't a butter that completely blew me out of the water, but still one of those you know, kind of um, items that did what it really needed to do. Um, for me, there just wasn't like that wow factor. And that could just be because I really do just love poured butters, you know, that much more. Um, but overall, I mean, I could definitely see why, you know, somebody like Kyle would, would actually like it. Gotcha. So guys, as you can see overall, um, we, you know, we really enjoy Damn Yankee. The scents are all over the place, which I love. You're right. going to find something that really um, raises your eyebrows. Um, so, you know, my advice is give it a try. To me, Damn Yankee is one of those companies everyone's heard of, mm -hmm. but not everyone has tried. Mm -hmm. My advice is give it a try. I absolutely enjoyed it. Any closing words, Joe? Uh, you know what? I just want to say, you know, we've had the opportunity to speak with uh, with Peter numerous times, um, and he's you know become you know one of my favorite owners to talk to. He's you know he's so easygoing, he's so passionate, 
And, you know, he's one, just one of those guys that is so appreciative of, you know, uh, of people who, you know, put out good reviews and just do what it's what do what you're supposed to do within the community. He definitely is like a community type guy, which which is always cool and stuff like that. So, um, you know, a big shout out to Peter for just being one of those really cool, easygoing owners. Well said. All right, guys, that's all the time that we have for you today. But as always, keep it growing. And we will talk to you at the next one. Cousins out.